Hi, and welcome to this short Context Bite, which gives a bit of history about entropy and some of the things that were important to the development of our modern understanding of entropy. Steam engines formed the backbone of the Industrial Revolution, and a huge amount of effort was dedicated by scientists and engineers into developing even better and more efficient steam engines. The principles which apply to steam engines also apply to any chemical reaction. In the 19th century, Kelvin was actually interested in understanding the efficiency of engines, and he and other scientists discovered the efficiency of a steam engine was defined by only two things, the temperature of the source, the inside of the engine, and the temperature of the surroundings, the sink. Consequently, the efficiency of an engine can only be perfect if either the temperature of the sink is zero or the temperature of the source is infinite. Cooling tyres have been designed to perfect the problems with efficiency by allowing expansion of the gas it cools and the temperature of the sink is lower, making cooling towers more efficient. When thinking about steam engines, Kelvin said that no cyclic process is possible in which heat is taken from a hot source and completely converted into work. This is just a statement of efficiency of the steam engine. All of the other energy is wasted. Rudolf Clausius was also thinking about steam engines, but he focused on the flow of heat. Clausius said heat does not pass from a body at low temperature to one at high temperature without an accompanying change elsewhere, or at least something equivalent in German. This is just formalising stuff we know. Tea cools, but a cold cup of tea doesn't magically get hot without something else going on. Equally, Fridges don't cool without them being plugged in. It should be fairly obvious that if the door of a fridge is left open, the overall temperature of the room will increase, not decrease. Thermodynamics has all been developed off ideas from 200 years ago, and although the ideas that were developed were based around huge systems such as steam engines, the principles apply to all chemical reactions. These laws explain the thermodynamics of life just as well as those steam engines of yore. I hope that this has been interesting. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask.